Darwaz was basically a dancer and who wrote this book in 60s where uh, he made 2.5 million from a starting capital of 30,000 in 18 months. Uh, so the Darwaz method is fairly uh, everybody I think and most of the you who are in trading have heard about this method. So let's have a look at uh, the method and what he says in his book. What he says is basically like uh, he was interested only in stocks which are doubled from 52 week low. So that was his first starting point and the logic was that they are the proven horses. So if a stock hasn't doubled, he was not interested in it. So your first condition becomes stock has to double basically. Uh, not only he wanted stock which had doubled, but he had another condition and that condition was that the stock should be near all time high. So he was not only looking for a stock which has doubled, but like say uh, he was looking for a stock which is also uh, near all time high. For example, like if you say look at say, um, let's take uh, something like, uh, let's think of any like any, if you, uh, any stock like say, uh, let's say like any, this stock and if you look at this particular stock, okay, the stock has doubled from its 52 week high, but it's not near all time high. So that's not what you'll be interested in. As against that, if there is a stock which has doubled like this kind of a stock is what he would be interested in or CRISPR therapeutic is what he would be interested in anything or upland software would be a, an ideal kind of a situation in his method where like it's already broken out of a box but uh, but that's the kind of stock where he's looking for something which is near all time high and not something which is um, just bouncing back uh, which is near uh, uh, re recurring but it's not like say this will not be a kind of stock which he'll be interested in. He'll be interested in stocks which are at all time high. So that another criteria which is used basically reduces the universe significantly because if you use that like you'll only get stocks like this TTGT which are like and which is near all time high. Right. So first criteria is stock should be have doubled from 52 week low. Second criteria is it should be near all time high. And then uh, the next criteria which he used was that the stock should be within 15 to 20 percent uh, of uh, its 52 week high. So that was his criteria. So he was not looking for many times a stock can go up 600, 700 percent and then it can go down 50 percent and then like and it is no more uh, the kind of candidate he would be looking at. So he was looking for something which has doubled which is near all time high and which is still within 50 to, uh, 15 to 20 percent of 52-week uh, high. So those are the things. But that's not the only criteria which he was looking for. There are the criteria which he was looking for and which is that um, once he found a stock like that, he was looking for something which he called an infant industry or infant industry was like something which is a new sector basically. Uh, the way he was saying infant is basically like, like it's a new sector, baby sector. So something new, uh, not something which is like say a railroad stock which doubles is not what he would be interested in or like say uh, Harriel, Harriel Warrior Met Coal has doubled but that will not interest him because this is not an infant industry this is a very old industry. So that was another criteria which he was using and the reason why he was using some of these criteria was for a simple reason uh, that he was looking for something new, new technology or something new and which is in line with what most of the uh, growth investors look for. Okay, so that was his another criteria, um, and then after he found those st stocks which met all these criteria, he was still looking for the stock had to have either very good earnings growth or a prospect of a future earnings growth. See, he wasn't just buying speculative stocks. He was he was looking for something which was basically had a earnings growth, very good earnings growth, and also uh, which had basically uh, at least a prospects of future earnings growth. So something like this is not something which will be interested in because these are not stocks which are near all time high. Uh, so once you go through like and once I show you how to set it up, you'll, uh, you can go through that and eliminate many stocks like say something like this will be definitely uh, Darwas kind of a stock but like you have to find it at this stage not uh, 
today like and say at this stage is when he'll be interested you know that's the darvas box or like and this will be a darvas box not now so that's what you're looking for so let's understand his criteria as his criteria as are basically stock should double from 52 week low uh, should be near all time high should be a new industry or infant sector as he used to call it or a new sector or something which is new like say uh, today if you look at uh, all these uh, uh, stocks which are coming out uh, with like uh, the uh, cloud sector these are new technology or anything which is software like uh, kind of nutanix or anything will be a new technology kind of a thing and not something which is very old and a railroad or say something which is like uh, um, Amazon may not be his kind of a stock at this stage, even though it might be at all time high, because it is not an infant sector. Okay, uh, and I don't think Amazon ha- meets his criteria of having doubled uh, from 52 week low. So uh, that's these are some of the things. So he was looking for young young stock. Okay, the next criteria which he used was like he was looking for stocks which had like low capitalization. And his reasoning was very simple that you look at something which is a low capitalization is likely to make a bigger move than something which has a very high capitalization. So obviously, if you look at this particular stock, you're looking at uh, uh, 768 billion capitalization for Amazon as against that if you're looking for something like say, uh, team, okay, uh, it's got uh, 13.7 that's like an a 768 billion uh, versus 13.7 billion or uh, say something which is, might be even uh, lower than that uh, so that's what he was looking for say like this is 534 million uh, ttgt uh, has only 534 million so that was another thing and then the other thing which he was looking for is that when the stock had doubled during the doubling of the stock he wanted to see a lot of volumes so he was interested only in stocks which had a lot of volume during the doubling. So if you are, uh, see, these are all criteria which he was using. So he was not just like in a, a lot of time you hear, oh, this is Darwa's box. Like, but the Darwa's box was like the last thing which he looked at. All these criteria had to be met before the uh, Darwa's box uh, thing he was looking at. So he wouldn't look at a stock which doesn't have a lot of um, volume uh, during the doubling move. So he wanted a volume search during the doubling move. And uh, say like, and if you look at this particular stock, so this has doubled from its 52 week high. If there is a volume surge along with that, that is what he was interested in. Uh, so if you apply those criteria to stocks uh, in the sequence in which he talks about, like say, look for stock which has doubled from 52 week low, which is near all time high, and it is in an infant sector, and earning, current earning growth or future earning growth is likely to be very high and then the stock has low capitalization and uh, high volume surge during its move all these criteria you will end up with 25 to 30 stocks at best because not many cri- stocks are going to meet all these conditions in most of the market conditions so it's a very restrictive kind of a approach which he was using you see this kind of a stock will not meet his criteria because it's not near all time high so if you go through this entire list of stocks which might meet his criteria a lot of stocks will get eliminated because they are not near all time high so that's the first condition which will eliminate a lot of these stocks okay and then after that like if they are not in a sector which is basically uh, say like crocs is not a sector which is like a new new thing uh, or an infant industry now so it will not be or even so uh, this uh, s1 it's not near all time high so the, all these stocks will get eliminated so all these criteria is once you apply that's after that whatever remained is on that particular stock he was looking for a stock which is forming a box and a box is basically uh, a sideways consolidation the kind of consolidation which you look for in an anticipation setup or a sideways consolidation which you look for in a weekly anticipation setup so those are the things which he was looking for Uh, so if you understand all that and then he was buying once it crossed above that consolidation. So all these criteria, if you have to sum it, uh, he was basically looking for a stock which had momentum 
established momentum and the way he described established momentum was stock had to double from 52 week low so that's like basically an absolute momentum it's not a relative momentum when you're saying you look and ibd says select stocks with relative strength about 85 uh, that's a relative momentum you're just like in a ranking stocks and taking the top 15 percent that's relative momentum as against that the darvas method has an absolute momentum absolute momentum means the stock has to meet an absolute condition that it has to double from 52 week low okay uh, second momentum condition is it has to be within 15 percent of 52 week low uh, 52 week high so that's like another mo- absolute condition so it was an absolute momentum condition or it was a momentum based method second he's looking for new industries so obviously when you're looking for new industries you're looking for growth you're not looking for stodgy old um commodity sector or steel stocks or you're not looking for something which is like been around for many years uh, and which is turning around kind of thing so you're going to be looking at constantly looking at something new new uh, new technology new growth uh, say sq will be his kind of a stock probably because uh, that stock is near all time high okay um, stock has had volume surge during its thing and it's a new technology so that is the kind of stock but uh, visa will not be his stock because visa has been around for a long period of time it's an old technology and it w- wouldn't even meet his criteria so that's besides the point so now how do you set up all this as a structured method and develop a process flow to trade it day in and day out is basically let's try and break up like an start by looking at like setting up a scan for this okay so we start with an easy scan we look at us stocks we'll not look at etfs for variety of reason in this because etfs are not really going to meet his criteria okay and then let's try and start building a condition and we'll write a condition um, which is like darwa's uh, box say is the name of that now what is this first condition his first condition is stock should double from 52 week um low so the basically you're saying that kilo can a the max c 252 which is like 52 week high uh, the way he was looking at is the ratio between 52 week high and 52 week low should be double so you're saying max c 252 divided by max uh, no min c which is the minimum close into 52 days so this is 52 week high this is 52 week low uh, is greater than or equal to two that means like you know, it has doubled okay um, then uh, there was another condition that it, that's not the only condition which he was looking for he also wanted a stock which is within 15 percent of 52 week high so c has to be greater than or equal to 0.8 multiplied by max c 252 so that means the stock has doubled uh, from its 52 week low and it's within 15 percent or 20 percent it is within 20 percent of its 52 uh, week high and not only that like we need to add other conditions to uh, basically reduce uh, low liquidity or eliminate liquid low liquidity stocks so we will add our standard condition mean v 3.1 is greater than or equal to 100,000 um, which will eliminate a lot of stocks Okay, which are not really liquid and also price condition because you really don't want a stock which was like trading at one dollar and doubles you're unnecessarily going to be wasting your time so i would say that you know, let's look at a stock which is trading above nine dollars ten dollars probably uh, so if you apply all these conditions and this is the condition first condition a stock has to double uh, then it has to be within uh, 20 percent of 52 week high he said 15 to 20 percent i'm just taking 20 percent and volume condition is there in to ensure liquidity and price condition is there now if you apply all these cr- criteria what you get is 180 stocks is what you will get okay now if you have got 180 stocks now the next thing uh, which is the most important criteria which he looks for is okay, stock should be at all time high so uh, there might there may not be a a scan to do that so you'll have to visually do it so if you do so in order to do that visually what we'll do is first we'll save this as like some sort of a darwas box so that this can get saved okay so you saved this can now what we are going to do is like and we are copy all these symbols into one uh, new personal watch list called darwas box okay 
and that's where you can do the analysis so that way you can eliminate some of the stocks okay so we have this personal watch list called darvas box in this personal watch list uh, let's start looking at like any you know, stocks uh, and this is on a monthly time frame so that way you can find whatever is uh, near all time high so this stock is not near all time high right and so uh, anything which is not all time high is what we are going to eliminate so all these stocks will get eliminated okay so this gets eliminated uh, this is will get eliminated this will remain crispr will remain upland will remain quidel will uh, will remain eco global logistics is not near all time high so it will go cure is not near all time high it's not at all time high so it will go dcr na not near all time high so this way if you keep looking at it uh, you will be able to eliminate a lot of stocks like this i would consider this at almost at all time high so i'll keep that but uh, this is not near all time high okay uh, this is near all time high ttgt is almost near all time high uh, see it's slightly difficult to find like it's at all time high uh, then obviously something like this will go a neurocrine bio that is all time high axgn that will be at all time high uh, this is at all time high this is at all time high uh, this will go okay so if you go through each one of these like this you will be able to eliminate almost i think 60 70% of them uh, so this is not near high so this will go okay um this will go okay nutanix will remain Uh, this is not near high so this will go okay and i'll do this quickly in order to eliminate a lot of these uh, it's almost near high so i'll keep that uh, this high it's not near high so that goes this goes cori is not near high so it goes so impact sell goes uh, no, i'm not sure it might be a buyout i am not sure so this will remain this will remain this will remain this will this is not at all time high so this will go this will is not really at all time high just shy of all time high uh, but like it will go uh, this will remain this will remain uh, spartan this will go okay target x uh, it's i'm not sure it's not really at all time high this will go uh, this will go okay regenerx uh, you can keep that like an hdp will go uh, cosans will go this will go okay uh, all this will go live person will go so if you really look at it it's so restrictive that like very few stocks actually meet his condition and that is why it is a good method for working people because it is so restrictive that you're not going to be like and looking at too many things and this is all work you can do uh, on a weekend so ctmx will remain uh, alliance one will remain uh, extreme network will go uh, this will go uh, this will remain Uh, this will go so this will go this will remain this will remain this will go okay this will go not at all time high so this will go uh, this will go and this is not really at all time high it's approaching all time high but it's not like an uh, so i would take it out this will go uh this is at all time high okay a car not at all time high this is not at all time high this is not at all time high okay so in terms of process terms you will have to re- like not daily but like periodically remove uh, things which are not at all time high basically uh, so this is not at all time high so it will go um, this is at all time high this is not at all time high weight watchers is almost at all time high so i'll keep that for the time being uh, it might get eliminated later when whether when you look at like say michael kors so this is not at all time high so it will go 
this is what X is, okay? It's almost at all time high, so I will keep it for the time being. Kirkland is there, Uba almost at high, Planet Fitness, this is not at all time high, so this goes. So, Twitter is not at all time high. Eldorado Gold holding is, this is not at all time high. Um, this is almost, so I'll keep that. Uh, so this is not at all time high. This is at all time high, this is at all time high, this is at all time high, this is not at all time high. Uh, Yandex is almost at all time high, this is at all time high. Uh, this is not at all time high. This is not at all time high. It's almost approaching, you might keep that, but like, and it's not really at, uh, so coop, that will remain. This almost there. Uh, this is not at all time high. Uh, this is at all time high, so this will go. Uh, this will remain, this is almost there. It's not really, but like some of these are marginal cases, so this is, uh, so this is at all time high. This is almost all time high. This is all time high. This is not at all time high. So this way you have to keep doing this manually to reduce the universe basically. Uh, I think in, a, in the barons in which he used to pick up data from, there is an all-time high feature also price. So it was easy for him to look up that price and eliminate stock. Here he'll have to go manually uh, one by one, like this is at all-time high. SRPT is not at all-time high. Uh, Enva, uh, it's almost like, so we'll keep that. Expo Logistics is at, uh, move. it's approaching not at all-time high. It's below all-time high, so it will go. Green Dot is at all time high, Med Fast, Sage, uh, then Goose, then this is at all time high, this is at all time high. Uh, this is I think at all time high, but it's a buyout, so I'll take it out. This will remain, this will remain. Uh, this is not at all time high, so this will go. This is not at all time high. This is not at all time high. This will remain, this is not at all time high. Okay, this is not at all time high. And this is almost, so I would keep that for the timing, SQ, yes, QL, yes, yes, Nectar, Therapeutic, yes, Shop, yes, Soda, yes, uh, Gill, not at all time high, uh, this is at all time high, uh, this is, Alni is like basically at all time high, now, Protolab, Blueprint Medicine, Interactive Broker, an app, a Biomed, uh, Grub, Stamp, uh, Sage, Esperion, not at all time high, Nvidia at all time high, Aristonet at all time high, Weibo at all time high, Loxo at all time high, Netflix all time high, Align at all time high, IPGP all time high, and B at all time high, okay? So if you remove all the one, so you get 99 stocks, okay? So now you got 99 stocks, uh, this is your starting list in terms of like, again, for each one of them, then you have to ask the question, is it an infant industry? Obviously, like, and if you start from the top, many of the biotechnology sector by definition will be, all of them will be basically uh, infant industry when this will be an infant industry. And this is the kind of thing which he looks for, which is like, this is an ideal example of say, uh, Darwa's box, uh, if you see this is weekly, and this if you see on a daily, which is what like, and uh, this was a long box it formed, okay? Uh, so, so, this is like, an, uh, and then when it breaks above that, is when he was looking for entry, so probably his entry would have been here. So, the method is like, anticipation only, you're creating orders and putting orders above a level basically, okay? Now, so if you go through this list again and clear uh, look at each one of them, uh, you will find that you can eliminate some of the stocks which are not necessarily new industries. Uh, so uh, most of the stocks which will remain will be like technology and biotechnology stocks most of the time. 
uh, because that's what this list will be dominated by and which is understandable for a simple reason that uh, that's those are the industries which are basically new industries or those are the young industries say pet made express uh, is not necessarily a new new industry so it will get eliminated um, some of the things which we saw like boeing and all is not necessarily an infant industry it's a very old industry so these are all will get eliminated world wrestling foundation is certainly not a new industry it's been around for like almost now 30 years uh, stone ridge auto parts this is not really a new industry so this will get eliminated um, biotechnology weight watchers okay weight watchers again i would say it's not really a new industry it's just a uh, so if you do all this okay, and go through each one of them, you'll be able to eliminate some of the stocks, resorts and casinos. Again, it's not really a new industry. It's, like a, it's basically a very old industry, uh, has been around since society was formed almost. Okay. Uh, so quad, coupas, zignas. So this is like, you know, there's work involved in this method. But once you clear all these, like, you know, say, Telecom services, I'm not sure whether this will be a new industry or not, or health IQ, Molina Health, uh, it's not going to be like really, this is not really a new industry, this is healthcare. So Trupanion, Kura, Edit, uh, Tech 2, again, I wouldn't say that this is a new, new industry, unless you want to say that it is, uh, video games have been around for a long period of time, Expo Logistics, not a new industry. Green dot, yes, very fast. Solar age goes. Yeah, staffing and outsourcing. I would take that out. Uh, Veron is Tibla, TR, PI, PayPal is new. His equipment rental and leasing company, not really a new industry, has been around for many years. Uh, so, Nectar, Shop, Soda. ISC is not really a new industry, even though ISC is a conglomerate, it has some new in, uh, things like, uh, I think an ISC also owns, uh, I think it owns uh, Match.com and other things, Tinder and all, but that's a separate company, Match.com is separate uh, division by itself. Uh, this is uh, now, service now, Protolab, Print, IV Car, Anab, Biomed, uh, Grub, Hub, Stamp, Sage Therapeutics, uh, Simpress, NVIDIA, it's an old thing, but it's like you can say it's new, or uh, Ristanet is new way, but, um, so if you take away, say Boeing will take away because it's not new industry, so if you take away all these, okay, so you're left with 87 stocks, okay, now this is where uh, your, this thing starts, work starts, then you look in this 87 stocks, then you're looking for a stock, which meets other criteria, which is again like an, a, during the doubling, you want to see a volume surge. So if there is no volume surge, like this stock didn't have, really have a volume surge during that thing, while this had a volume surge. So if you go through those, and if you keep like an eliminating, if they had volume surge or not, you'll be able to eliminate some stocks. But even if you don't do, like still what you're looking for is a box, okay? You're looking for a box, right? The box is really what you're looking for. And for that, uh, you're looking for, uh, I'm trying to find that square, but like uh, any need, you don't find it. Okay, anyway, so if this is the box, okay, um, let me redraw it so that it looks very clean, okay. So in this particular case, okay, uh, this particular stock, say, this is the box so you put a order outside the box so you'll have a resting order or a buy stop limit order above this box basically and once it crosses the box uh, then you put a stop near the box uh, and then as the stock moves now the stock has moved you will keep moving the stops that's the method basically in terms of it so this is how you can like basically set it up and once you set it up and once you trade it for multiple weeks and months, you'll become good at it. But like, let's look at like, you know, what is setting up probably, uh, considering all other factors, which is like, okay, you don't have the, the um, um, earnings and all information, but like say, this is setting up as a small box here. 
which is like your anticipation method only then uh, basically but like you want something which is and most of these are drug and uh, biotechnology stocks which are basically what meets his criteria in terms of like they have uh, the future potential to earn big if their drug gets approved uh, ideal candidate will be something like this where there was a long box which formed and then it went up okay so this is all like uh, stock uh, if anything is setting up then that is see this verse now the question is is this really a new industry this is not really a new industry so it's not really an infant industry so i'll take it out saying okay this is not an infant industry uh, but your team okay and now team you can say that it is forming a box so it's that makes it difficult because what his definition of box was really uh, uh, is this this will satisfy his definition of box it was like going sideways uh, for a long period of time Nutanix now this is one candidate which you can look at probably okay TCMD a long box it is forming after doubling here uh, so it has to cross above that box uh, almost like at 37 still it reaches 37 there's nothing to be done foundation medicine so if you go through this like okay this is small but these are not really ideal box kind of candidates which is like what you would like to see uh, on a weekly basis um, kind of thing setting up very nicely uh, something which is really at the top end of the thing many of these looks like pullbacks okay uh, Moodle is a buyout, so that should not be here in this list, basically. So this is 85 stocks is what you're looking for. Uh, and then after that, it like an, is basically, to me, it's like an anticipation method only. You're looking at, say, uh, it breaking out of this long consolidation here. So your stop will be outside this box or like, say, about 34.50, basically, is what you look at for getting into this stock. So that is how you can set up this. Now, obviously, like if you just set up and start trading this tomorrow, you're not going to be making much uh, money because you don't have the nuances and the fine tuning which is required to do this. So that's really always the challenge in any method. And for that, like I wouldn't say Fiat Chrysler is like some sort of a new industry, infant industry. So that will get removed. Uh, so that way you have to look at like an essay, uh, you'll find many of these stocks they need to have a story also because the way stocks in which he made money if you really go back and see the stocks in which he made money they had like almost triple digit kind of uh, earnings growth at that time or sales growth of that kind of a thing so i would doubt that he would look at biotechnology as those kind of stocks a lot of these biotechnology stocks might get eliminated and especially if you're a working person i would say like and i, I wouldn't take biotechnology stocks uh, as a longer term play so if you eliminate all the biotechnology stocks you will be left with most of what you will be left will be technology stocks um, and stocks like this which is etc which is a new kind of a thing or match.com uh, these kind of stocks is what you will be left with but then you have to again look for a setup which is basically some sort of a consolidation which in other words is an anticipation setup but not like the way we have discussed anticipation setup as a short term trading thing here you're looking for a longer term setup to form and to give you an example like an let's actually go through this on a weekly chart quickly because there are not many stocks to see if something is really setting up as a proper weekly um, thing this was like an it was setting up here but like obviously it's now already up so uh, that's not a nice setup So this is setting up. So this is one possible and where this is a box now. So your entry will be above this box. So entry will be like above this level. So once it crosses this particular level, which is 35 points. Uh, so your orders will be resting at that stage. Like that's the way he used to operate. Once he used to identify three or four candidates, he used to have the orders put in at a level higher than what they were okay so let's keep looking at a, this to see if anything else is setting up like that um, this may be but it's a biotechnology drug probably so that will be like again outside the box so he'll be looking at entry outside 48 point 
uh, 46.7 or like 47 uh, he had some rules also he used to put like one point above the box or two points above the box based on the price of the stock okay uh, so this is another stock which is like when it crosses that box is when you would look at it okay uh, so but if you see there is no volume surge during this move so i don't i don't think he would pick a stock like that okay this is a stock which is just about to break out of this box so anything which if it goes out of this box like say 40 41 might be an entry point on that so that is the thing so that might be it's not the nicest of the thing it's too choppy according to me but like if you want to look at okay so going through this entire thing you find only one or two ideas uh, so that's why it's a very selective method now the question which you need to ask yourself is then look and if you're a trader if you're just a working person it's a different ball game but if you're a trader by having such a restrictive method are you going to be able to make money uh, so because those are some of the questions which you have to always ask like just don't trade it this also will be a box if it goes outside this uh, box so yeah only one or two or three candidate which are worth watching like tcmd uh, on a weekly kind of a thing and if you do it on a daily basis you might find some more uh, because uh, say i would say ntnx will be this is a box which is forming so that will go there uh, anything which is like our anticipation setup will be like basically on a daily will go there but uh, that is the way the method works basically okay and now obviously just looking at this you're not going to be like any going and buying them because his other criteria which is like low capitalization um, current earning growth or expected earning growth those are other things which you have to superimpose on your selection so first you reduce your list to three or four and then look at those criteria once you do that i doubt you will get at any time most of the time you'll not get more than two to three candidate to look at so it's very selective uh, methodology and what it does is it just stacks probabilities okay so this is how you can build a method uh, whether to trade this or not that is up to you uh, i think and uh, given what we trade currently four uh, percent dollar breakout and anticipation many of these stocks will come in uh, automatically in our methods because uh, they meet the criteria uh, most of the stocks which meet his criteria will also meet our criteria of trend intensity or mdt or dt okay but if you want to really like and uh, set it up and really want to look at only like stock which are like really the big movers in the market and likely to double this is how you can set it up uh, like this will be a box okay uh, i'll just show you the scan again so that like uh, you have you know what it is uh, basically what you're doing is you're setting up the scan but the setting of the scan is just one part of the equation so stock has doubled uh, it's within 20 percent of two, uh, 52 week high and volume is about 100,000 and price is about 9, okay? And then the remaining work is really the grunt work of going through everything and identifying the best candidate. So hopefully uh, you'd learn something of how to develop a method if you read it in a book uh, and uh, make it work. In order to make it work, I would say that you look, you need to trade it for six months, one year, two years. Uh, you're not going to be good at it uh, in two weeks, three weeks, six weeks also because you will not find any candidate. Even if you find candidate, you don't have enough experience to see how that behaves after you bought it. Uh, so those are all the things which will come into play. Uh, but this is a nice method to identify very strong stocks. Obviously, there are many other ways to identify strong stocks also. Um, but uh, this is as given in his book as he used to trade uh, this is the closest you can find to how to uh, do it the only candidate i would say that like you know which looks really uh, meeting his criteria currently is newton x which is like volume surges there and uh, it's at all time high and on a, at least on a daily it is forming a box okay